Okay everyone, uh, this is Chrono, this is my PS4 war. You see up there, the Cuban arm flag, inspired by the uh, Second Life Carolina flag, World War Blocks. My traditional sign, I usually called my first base Colonel Burbia, and make reference to Calaria, <laughs> and no creepers. So you've got my curtain wall here. Over here, I managed to corral a pin. I don't have any characters, but here I've got my cane for paper, wheat, cows for leather, and food, chickens for feathers. Seems to be hard limit on chickens. I can't seem to breed more than this. Maybe I have too many other animals and I've got a bunch of dogs over here. And over here I have another pig that I managed to corral. And I'll leave them together once I get some carrots. I have my sheep. Got a portal here. I haven't gone through the portal yet though. Up here. I built my base on the borders of water. See, monsters, of course, can't res on water, so putting your first house near water reduces the amount of monsters that will show up. And it means I really don't only have to worry about, say, from that border there to, say, about here. And it made me safer when I started out. And of course, it means there's with water. Actually, the uh, lake, or whatever it was, with the little islands in it, extended all the way over to here, which is why there's so much water here. So, I just basically extended dirt out to make my farm. And you can see that big, big extreme hill over there. Um, over there, there was like a lava pool, which I turned the obsidian, uh, but I found more lava on the ground, which I turned into obsidian. And I eventually found diamonds and was able to get my obsidian. Uh, there's a desert, a desert temple. Let's see. Let me bring up my map here. Where's my map? Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a desert temple. Okay, if you look at the map, down here at the uh, uh, southwestern edge of the map, there's that desert there. Well, south of there is where the temple is. It's on the uh, next block below. And there's jungle way over there. And down south of that west is where that temple is. And uh, actually, for a little thing in there. I may make another base. But I found a temple. Didn't find anything good in there besides any gold, some gold. But I found, did find a desert temple. I haven't found any villages yet because I haven't really explored that much. The worlds are bigger. Uh, let's see. I've got these uh, few enchanted goods, although I don't have money yet. Uh, uh, bookshelves yet. I've got my anvil up already. I've got plenty of iron. Well, mostly plain. Let me see my inventory here. Got some gunpowder. There haven't been that many monsters, really. I haven't done much monster hunting. Uh, I really need to uh, hunt some zombies to try to capture some. Turn them into villagers! I did that in my PS3 world. Built like a zombie trap, and then I can turn them into villagers at my leisure. Uh, ink sacks. I actually found some crocking. I mean squid. Here, got redstone, a diamond, some cocoa beans. I went, found some jungle, and got some cocoa beans. I haven't found any melons yet. And that, of course, is a TNT from Desert Fortress. I picked up some cactus so I can grow some cactus for green dye and use it as a disposal. There's my spare obsidian. Got plenty of obsidian. I'll take some of that through the portal when I go through it. I've uh, got a lava bucket. As soon as I... Uh, get some slimes, I'm going to make a cobble generator. 
Miss Lab. Block of iron. Bones, plenty of bones. I've got mushrooms. I'll build a mushroom house pretty quick. I've got the space for it. Ah, well, how'd you get in here? Ah, creeper, creeper, creeper. Creeper, how'd my creeper get in here? You're not supposed to be in here, creeper. Well, we'll fix this. Creeper's gonna creep me. Put some there. I should keep him out. Don't know how he got in, but <laughs> it was there. I've enchanted some of my equipment. Power to bow. I should say iron pickaxe. I'm breaking diamond pickaxe. Projectile uh, reaction not going to be in the next plate. I should have to little bit Well, I'll save that for my next one. Anyway, let me head downstairs and show you the mine. This is the sub basement. This was actually my first uh, base down here. I built it down below. Because I uh, needed a good space and it was getting dark, so I built it to the ground. It was safe and I built my above ground house later. This is the basement. Got the old wooden tools down here. This is the gentleman. This is where I mined the obsidian. There's lava down here and I mined it all out. So that's where I also found some diamonds. More lava over here. It goes way up. I'll have to climb up there sometime or go up a few levels and go over and try to uh, put that lava out. Because there's iron behind that lava. And I hate cover dump. Here, got my branches. Oh, spider behind me. I hear him. I do have the water bucket. Right. Yeah, I think there's a there's a cave over there actually. It's a large cave system. I blocked it off so I could just keep uh, doing my branch mining. Because open caves are dangerous down here. So if I'm branch mining, I'll just wall off the branch, continue on until I'm in solid rock again. Oh, and if I'm mining stone, I always just use my stone thing, my stone <laughs> pickaxe, because stone is uh, 
an unlimited resource. But uh, iron isn't. I mean, in the PC version, you got unlimited worlds. So you don't really have to worry about that. But worlds on the PS3 and PS4 are finite. So it actually is possible to run out of iron. So I stick to stuff that's renewable because I can build a cobble generator rather than use iron tools for things that I don't need iron to mine. Oh, found some coal, which I could use. Let me take three, four, five, six. The black lines don't show up so much. That's one thing that's annoying. Let me go over here. I can show you the little cave. Hopefully there's some slimes there. I need a slime ball to build a big sticky piston so I can build the cobble generator. came out. There's some iron up there. I'll, I can go up a level and get it. <laughs> and when that breaks, I'll go make a couple more. Seal this off here. And don't want anything sneaking up on me. in case I lose my water. More water here. <laughs> I always put a little water thing you know, down in my deepest part of my dungeon so I can really get water. Yeah, there's water around here. Zombies are washing up. I can hear them. Fill up gaps like that. Sure, it takes a bit of cobble, but cobble is unlimited because it's renewable. So, if I don't have to mine enough, I'm always going to go someplace and mine some more or make some more. I can hear them. 